let's just start in with Boyle's Law. Okay, now this is the mathematical formula for Boyle's Law. And I am not going to teach the math. If your instructor deems that important, they will teach this math within the program. I think it's probably going to serve us best with these videos for you to understand the gas laws and how they work. All right, so this is the definition of Boyle's Law. At a constant temperature, the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional. Okay, so what does that mean? It means during the experiments I'm going to do for you, I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and we're gonna do some experiments. During these experiments, I'm gonna hold certain factors constant. So when we do Boyle's Law, we're gonna keep the temperature consistent during the experiment. And when we do, pressure and volume of the gases are gonna be inversely proportional. That means when pressure goes up, volume goes down, or vice versa. When pressure goes down, volume goes up, okay? So let's watch this experiment and then we'll come back and talk how it applies to clinical practice. Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. This is where we're gonna do the majority of the experiments that prove our gas laws, okay? And this video today is going to concentrate on Boyle's Law. Now, you may ask what chicken breast has to do with Boyle's Law. Absolutely nothing. This is just what I'm making for dinner tonight. The chicken breast has nothing to do with Boyle's Law, but the syringe that I'm about to use to inject flavoring has everything to do with Boyle's Law, okay? So Boyle's Law says when temperature is constant, all right, the temperature in my kitchen is not going to change, okay? So temperature is constant. Boyle's Law says when temperature is constant, volume and pressure are inversely related, meaning when pressure decreases, volume should increase and vice versa. All right, so what I've got here is, is a syringe that I have a little bit of my flavoring mixed up here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this needle, which has a, it's a big bore needle. I'm going to put it into the flavoring. And when I draw back on this plunger, what actually happens is I draw back on the plunger. I am going to be creating a negative pressure inside the barrel of this syringe. And as I create that negative pressure in the inside barrel of this syringe, it's going to suck more and more volume of this fluid into the syringe. So let's just see if it works, right? So put it into the fluid. I'm going to pull back on the plunger. I'm decreasing the pressure in the barrel while I am increasing the volume of fluid that is entering the syringe, okay? So decrease pressure, increase volume. Now, the direct opposite happens also. So as I get ready to inject these chicken breasts, I'm just going to push this in here, nice and neat. And now I'm gonna push on the plunger. And when I push back on the plunger, I'm gonna increase the pressure in the barrel of the syringe. And as I increase the pressure, the volume in the syringe is going to decrease. You didn't know you were gonna get a cooking lesson at the same time, did you? Okay, so I'm increasing the pressure in that syringe every time I press on it. And as I increase that pressure, see how volume is decreasing? All right, so there you go. Boyle's Law at its finest. Stay tuned and we'll do another gas law in just a few minutes. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. We're on Boyle's Law. You just saw the experiment with the syringe. So I'm gonna come back to Boyle's Law. So Boyle's Law states, as pressure increases, volume decreases and vice versa, as long as that temperature remains constant. So you saw with that plunger, when I pulled the plunger back, the pressure inside the barrel decreased. And as that pressure decreased, volume filled up the barrel, right? That solution that I was using to flavor the chicken, that solution moved into the barrel of that syringe. So decreased pressure, increased volume, and then vice versa. 
This is exactly like spontaneous breathing. So this is your clinical example. In spontaneous breathing, when our diaphragm during inspiration, we drop our diaphragm. And what happens then is there is a negative pressure inside of our chest and the volume from the atmosphere moves into the chest. So pressure inside the chest decreases and volume increases inside the chest. Now during expiration, what happens is we, our diaphragm moves back into its original position that creates a positive pressure in our chest and that positive pressure moves volume out into the atmosphere. So as pressure increases inside the chest, volume decreases because it's being displaced into the atmosphere. So that is Boyle's Law. Lots of times you see Boyle's Law in the pulmonary function lab. You're going to learn something about body plasmography later on or the body box that has everything to do with Boyle's Law. Stay tuned and we'll hit the next gas law.